Trump needs to come out as gay. That's what we need. Yeah, but like that's he has no a, interest in defending. Oh, I know homosexual. That, that's people. what we, we would need. Yeah, that's it's not gonna happen. He needs to come out as gay. Also, I think he's ace. Let's get to right. real shit. I'm okay, let's get to the it. fucking oh, hogwash. You want to so, see this? Oh, dude, I love hogwash. It's my favorite part of the Hasanabi broadcast. Oh, I love hogwash. Oh, it's my favorite. GOP voters react to Trump's indictment. Oh, Say, yes. These allegations oh, God, do yes. not make any difference to them. Scott McFarland spent the weekend talking to some Trump voters and joins us now with that part oh, of the story. I love this. Scott, yes. good morning to you. It seems that the Trump voting base is very, <laughs> very, very loyal. <laughs> Certainly this weekend, Gail, his defiant Marcia denunciations Pazin. of the prosecution drew applause and cheers at rallies. And many GOP voters told me they hadn't read the indictment, uh -huh. that their minds were already made up. He's a very strong candidate. <laughs> She's like, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read the indictment because guess what? I can't read. Or charges they put on him, the stronger he seems to get. We're, we're having waffles for everyone. The support for many Republican voters was unwavering as Donald Trump made a campaign sweep from Georgia to North Carolina. And they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I'm just standing in their way. Here I am. In our latest CBS News poll, 76% of likely GOP primary voters think the indictment Wait. was politically motivated. Oh, no, what did you make? of the indictment of Trump when you heard it. Fake news. Um, that the uh, Democrats are crazy and um, they need to stop trying to bully Trump. Trump supporters said they Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now that's a haul right there. I love it. I love it. Look at them. Look at them hogs right there. These are, these are the delegates right here, brother. Fucking love me some Trump, baby. Moved, and their opinions unchanged by the criminal case. Among his defenders, North Carolina's Republican Lieutenant Governor. People are tired of politics permeating everything, and now it's permeating uh, into our legal system. This is literally the state where the one Democrat actually switched over to the other party, to the Republican Party, after being elected, like, recently, to give the did. Republicans a supermajority in the state legislature and then pass the sequence of, like, insane bills, including, like, uh, uh, including ones that uh, criminalized or at least, like, greatly reduced uh, abortion uh, rights in the state. This guy? Yeah. He was a Democrat before. No, not this guy. No, no, no. it was a it was a woman in the Democratic Party. Oh. Um, uh, Trisha Cotham. I think people are not going to tolerate that anymore. The new CBS News poll shows only 38 percent of those likely Republican primary voters consider it a national security risk if I mean, Trump kept classified nuclear and military secrets, compared to 80 percent for the rest of the country. While 80 percent of Republicans said Trump should be able to serve as president even if convicted. Even if convicted. I mean, he could, and then he'd pardon himself. Yeah, he would, Darn he would, tootin', he'd pardon himself. He would it's like, definitely bro, you're, pardon himself. You're in North Carolina. Like, what is this fucking... I don't even understand where the accent's coming from. Like, I, I don't know where these fucking people are coming from. I, or maybe they were Georgians. I don't know. I thought it was North Carolina, though, which is odd. Yeah, in Oklahoma, attended by his closest rival, Ron DeSantis, this Republican and military veteran took a different view. Anyone, I was in the military for 20 years. Anybody Thank you for your service, that sir. blatantly Fuck disregards you. classified information, well, they should be held <coughs> accountable. And uh, if it was me that did it, my <laughs> would already be in prison. But that opinion was definitely in the minority of what we heard overall. That yeah, he's a fucking lame-ass Chair Force DeSantis dick rider, okay? We here are pro-Trump. That's an American patriot. Yeah. Um, no, pro Trump is an American patriot. True. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, not this fucking guy. Oh, yeah, oh, I can't believe we mishandled well, classified know documents. Trump can do it. You know you're a piece of shit when Trump makes you, when when what? when next to Trump, you look like a, uh, Trump looks like a saint next to DeSantis. Well, yes and no. He had TSSCI clearance, man. I would have been hanged. I held a TSSCI clearance. I would have been hanged day one. Yeah, well, guess what? Donald Trump hangs dong, okay? That's why... I'm in support of freeing Donald Trump. He hasn't even gone to prison yet, but I think he shouldn't go to prison. I think Trump should drop a dick pic. 
Oh god, that's a power move. It would be so fucking nasty. It, just drop a dick pic. There is literally zero percent chance he, he should, has a nice He should one. tag DeSantis and Biden, and be like, he has, "Your move." He has a nasty toad-like penis. For just sure. drop it. Just drop a dick pic and tag Biden <laughs> in it. Be like your move, Joe. This weekend. These legal cases are just going to hang over the campaign with the first debate set for August. Gail. Don't. All um, right, Scott. Moore. This guy looks like like uh, like a Half-Life uh, character. <laughs> like he just looks like he's out of like Mad Men or something. I don't know why. He just, Maybe he had some filler. Like the G-Man, right? Uh, anyway, we need more. <laughs> Hear what Trump voters think about his DOJ indictment. I'm so excited. Let's hear these motherfucking hogs, baby. Let's hear what these hogs have to say. They're oinking. They're oinking little piggies, okay? And I, I want to show you how they're oinking. I don't know why she's walking around so much. I literally, I got her. <coughs> All right, I'm ready. I, I walked her recently. Is I walked her on? not that long ago. Yes, it's on. I walked her not that long ago. Our food's about to be here. Why are you eating? Look, I forgot. A protein bar before the food gets here. Okay. Oh my god, dude! Toss that on the ground like you did on the fucking uh, on the podcast. Look, he had no accessible trash cans nearby. I just threw the crumbs on the floor and yes, I did actually. It's right there. Well, you should you just use it. Get a Roomba. I'm saying Roomba would take care of it. Right, chat. Come yeah, on. on the podcast, he literally, in front of both me and Cutie, where we were looking at him, picked up, like, crumbs from his, his chips that were on the table, picked them up and just tossed them. <laughs> he, like, gathered them together and just tossed them. Oh, no, and it blew my mind. I was like, what the fuck? What are you, like, I raised in a barn? I what the hell? <laughs> I scooped them on the ground. No, you didn't. You threw them on the ground. No, I gently let them go. Fuck, I thought she was, like, poop scooting. I don't know why uh, she's uh, behaving no, unruly. You, I, I let them free. I, I went like this, I gathered my hand, and I let them on the ground. So you don't likely pick his nose, pick roll flick on your floor? What? Chip talk? Okay, whatever. Surprised that the Trump let's, let's supporters continue. that I spoke with um, really don't think too highly of special counsel Jack Smith or <laughs> this investigation. What? Really? And if That's anything, shocking. they're actually oh doubling God. down on their support That's for also no. President Donald Trump. You gotta be kidding They me. see this indictment as further proof of every level of government and the press, as the way that they see it, uh, are going unfairly after Trump. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump, unapologetic and on the attack. Jack Smith. Right, that's my Jack president. So innocent. He's deranged. This is a political hit job. Georgia's GOP convention marking Trump's first public appearance after She's becoming the eat. first former president to face federal charges. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Special counsel Jack Smith announcing 37 criminal counts against Trump. <laughs> the majority for violations of the Espionage Act. Doesn't matter to me, not at all. Outside the state convention, his supporters are unfazed. I think it's a bunch of bull <laughs> Trump ain't done that wrong thing. Trump done is it saved this country. They're not gonna let it stop. Mm -hmm. They can't stand the fact that he's running for president. And I am a Donald Trump fan. It, it's uh, probably altered, um, but it's just typical, typical uh, liberal propaganda. None of the Republican voters CNN spoke with. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I wouldn't waste my time Hell on yeah, the indictment. He's got the, the indictment. Hey, he got the Confederate flag page on him, brother. I don't give a fuck about no indictment. I don't care. We should be indicting Joe Biden for being a homosexual. You could, hey, you could indict a baloney sandwich. These loyalists share a deep <laughs> sense of distrust against perceived opponents of Trump including the Department of Justice, the FBI, and the press. Oh, God. Supporters routinely is. brought up Sleepy President Joe. Joe Biden, former Vice President Mike Pence, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. All had sensitive materials in their possession while out of public office. One big difference, Trump and his aide, Walnata, face nearly a half dozen charges related to obstruction and concealment of documents, including for allegedly suggesting to his lawyers to not cooperate with a grand jury subpoena. 
in this whole fake indictment. They don't even once mention the presidential Records Act. The indictment outlines two different occasions. Trump allegedly showed classified documents to unauthorized people. And in 2021, Trump admitted on tape to having secret documents that he hadn't declassified, according to the <laughs> indictment. As president, I could have declassified, but now I can't, Trump said, according to the transcript of the audio obtained by CNN. <laughs> Just There's an audio recording of him <laughs> doing so. We know that that can be changed. We know that that can be altered. Within the 49-page oh indictment, God. pictures showing boxes of classified documents stacked <coughs> oh high in a Mar-a-Lago bathroom, room, office space, and elsewhere. What he did is incorrect, absolutely incorrect. But the system allowed it to happen. The system is broken. It needs to be fixed. The convention also drew a handful of anti-Trump protesters, co-opting one of his most popular catchphrases in this quick moment of tension. Yeah. Lock you up. Yeah, yeah you had you support Hillary Clinton. She done a lot wrong. Uh, you're an idiot. Ultimately, these Trump supporters yeah, brother, are not lock her up. any piece of evidence that would cause lock their support to waver. I think Trump is the best president we've ever had, and I'm all about getting him reelected. Fascist. And in a press conference Fascist. this past week, special counsel Jack Smith encouraged people to actually read the indictment. It's 49 pages long to get a full grasp of the body of evidence there. Uh, these Trump supporters I spoke with made it clear they have zero I got an interest idea. in doing that. Meanwhile, I think Trump I think, denies I think, any wrongdoing. I think, and an attorney, <laughs> joke's on you, libtards. I don't know how to read. I said it already. Trump needs to come out as gay. Oh. His supporters support him in anything. That's what we need. Yeah, but like that's, he has no a, interest in defending. Oh, I know homosexual that, that's people. That's what we, we would need. Yeah, that's it's not going to happen. He needs to come out as gay. He's also, I think he's ace, a romantic. Oh, that's my speculation. My suspicion ace. is my my weirdest my weirdest suspicion is is that Trump is ace, and like he only has sex for like a power thing. You know what I mean? He does not strike me as the type of man think who dressed? yearns who yearns for for sex. I think it's just like first and foremost, okay? Being ace does not change the reality. He can still be a, like a fucking creeper, okay? All the all the ace motherfuckers in the chat immediately chirp in and they're like, "No, that's not true. That's not true." No, he does not see sex as a as a, you know, a a pleasure a pleasurable experience. I think he views sex as like like, we uh, don't claim him is what they're saying. Yeah. I see. I think Trump views sex uh, simply as like a power posture. And I think he desires, he desires sex from the, from the perspective of like one who, who gets power over like uh, women. Okay. That's what I think. Well, if it's just a power thing, then why doesn't he have sex with <clears throat> men too? Well, cause it's like, you know, he's not it's, gay. <clears throat> <coughs> but if you're you're basically taking the attraction out of it and it's just a power thing. Well, he just doesn't want to overpower men. He sees sex as power. That's why he wants to grab women by the pussy because it shows he can do whatever. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's continue. Um, we're going to get back to the hogs and the hogalinas in one moment. I want to watch this. Here's Fox News host Jesse Waters. If you want to understand where... If you understand where these people are coming from, like how they have these opinions, why they have these opinions... Well, we always got to see what the conservatives are saying about mm -hmm. this, Fox right? News. What are their talking heads saying about it? Well, here it is. Fox News host Jesse Waters just gave the funniest possible defense of Donald Trump. Let's take a look at what his funny-ass defense was. By the way, I had another shower thought earlier this morning before, I was, uh, before my left ear went deaf where I was thinking about like what can be some possible defenses for Donald Trump. And I thought, I don't know why they don't just like blame the fucking uh, valet and just be like, no... The feds actually turned the valet uh, into an asset uh, when, you know, Trump never actually commanded the valet to, like, do this document mishandling. And the feds turned the valet and the lawyers into an asset. It doesn't even matter in, in a court of law if that holds, obviously. And it doesn't matter what the objective facts of the matter are. But it certainly would play well to his audience. Because, like, there's not really too much for... For Trump to to get out of this with like I don't know I don't know how Trump is gonna get out of the situation other than like 
all of the parties involved that are not Trump were actually doing the wrong thing. And Trump himself wanted to Trump himself wanted to definitely do the right thing. Yeah. I hope the president answers the question in the courtroom when he when he finally gets before the 12 jurors. Why didn't you return the papers when you were asked to? Well, he on was the third sifting occasion? through them and determining what were personal and what were presidential. And under the Presidential Records Act, as you know, Harold, he has the sole discretion to do that. Even when he showed it to that reporter? <laughs> well, if the you're waving net? it to that reporter who's an American, how yeah. is that different than Hillary's server getting hacked? By the DNC country. server getting hacked. The Obama administration getting hacked. He put American national security at risk because he went like that in front of an American. Meanwhile, we'll see. Joe Biden spread eagle all over the mid-Atlantic in Chinatown. He's got his garage wide open while Hunter's flying in with drunk Chinese spies. Come on, Espionage Act, president. He didn't even start a single war. He wiped ISIS off the map. He put... National security risk, espionage. Chinese are lining the Biden family pockets. Carol Ford Jr., you're better than that. <laughs> this is death by accusation. First, he's a colluding traitor. Then he's a rapist. And then he's a Nazi. And now he's throwing papers all over the Middle East for cash. They'll put him on trial. They'll leak. They'll smear. They don't even care how this thing is adjudicated. It I doesn't do. matter. They're scaring away donors and swing voters. Republicans need to get their act together. And then give me the sauces, brother. What are we doing? And I, I need to diet uh, Coke as well. Why are you hoarding it over there? Shake filet, baby. We're doing it right. We're doing Pride Month right. Why are we doing this? Son, you might say. Why are you? Austin, stop hogging all the fucking sauces, brother. Fucking guy. He's like, oh, I, I ordered all the Polynesian sauces. That's what he's doing. No, I don't want the honey mustard. That's a you thing. I bet your ass ordered the honey I mustard. The yeah, I got those. You can put those in the fridge or just leave them over there. I'll, I'll put them in the fridge. Right, I'll put them in the fridge here in a, in a second. Ugh. Wait, where is there's uh, waffle fries for my dad? Baba, son up, put this all them. Oh, they didn't bring the waffle fries? That's weird. Oh, for you. Yeah, I ordered one. I ordered a spicy chicken sandwich. You don't remember? I don't remember. Chat, you remember me talking about the spicy chicken sandwich? Pull the clip. We did not order a spicy chicken sandwich. Hold on. Hey, you, can we push this back a little bit? Sure. Sure. I, I don't know how to do it, man. I don't Just fucking leave it. Just leave it. It's fine. Is that good? That's good. All right. Chick Fil A got a diversity, yep, equity and inclusion officer. Yep. And all of a sudden, they don't fucking give you goddamn straws. Apparently. Mm. Yep. With their food, so I had to reuse the straw. Yep fucked up see when democrats run your restaurants what yeah happens? i hate that even the chicken i'm eating it and it doesn't taste as hateful no it's really when the chicken doesn't hate it uh, tastes as hateful it doesn't hit yeah they're getting their chickens from portland or something like shit. i want i want These the nice portland. mormon boy who whipped this chicken up to say the f slur into the chicken mm -hmm. you know what i mean it sucks it sucks when they don't do that you know that was policy um, all right, let's get back to the hogs. For his aide, Nada, uh, declined to comment. Jim. Isabel Rosales, thanks very much. It's not his supporters. Some of Donald Trump's allies up on Capitol Hill are also coming to his defense. Uh, joining us now to talk about this is Congressman Don Davis. He's a Democratic congressman from North Carolina. Uh, congressman, great to see you. Let, let's listen to what some of uh, Trump's Republican loyalists are saying in, in reaction to the indictment. I'll get you to comment. Can I get a... If he wants to store if he wants to store material in a box in in a no bathroom, more, if he wants to store more. it in a box There's on a no stage, more? he can oh, do no. that. That is the that that is just what the law and the standard is. So again, I think this just underscores how political this whole thing is. President Trump will have his day in court, but espionage charges are absolutely ridiculous. Whether you like Trump or not, he did not commit I like espionage. When he I did like not disseminate, that. leak, <clears throat> or provide information. I like that they're literally fucking they've given up on like 30 of the charges and they're now basically focusing on one okay like they have completely given up like the reality here is for trump to take to, for trump to face like any kind of criminal punishment from this not all 30 of them have to hit like they don't have to execute him for treason okay 
All they need is like obstruction of justice. Yeah, that's that, and, and that's clear cut. And they can't really define. They can't really like, you know, uh, uh, deflect away from that one, which is why they're just like, well, the espionage charge is crazy. You think he's gonna go to jail? It'd be awesome. I don't know. I mean, how long is the trial going to take? Right? They're just going to delay it. Better be expediting that shit. Nation ...to a foreign power or to a news organization to damage this country. He is not a spy. Uh, Congressman, uh, you heard I Lindsey Graham there say that Donald Trump is not a spy. Uh, what's, your, what's your reaction to all this, what some of your Republican colleagues are saying up on the Hill? A federal indictment is serious. And it should be taken serious. And let's be clear, when we think about a congressman or even a former president, uh, no one should be above the law. Uh, what I believe is important is to allow the facts to continue. Brother, I've never, for people who are saying you can indict a ham sandwich, okay, that's an old trope. I've never seen a case where the, feder the federales took it so goddamn seriously that they basically laid out the case with 90% of the material evidence that they used for the indictment, which they unsealed, okay? That was like, th this is unique with the amount of information that is like readily available for us to see before the actual trial itself, okay? They didn't just say, oh, we're indicting him on these charges, they also very clearly showed what their case is. That's how open and shut their fucking case is. That's how confident they are that they literally revealed their hand. Okay? To you uh, to come forward to, through a process here and let's allow the Department of Justice to continue to do its work and as more facts are made available to the public. I like, I don't think they needed to show numerous line items of Donald Trump uh, and, and transcripts from Donald Trump's private correspondence that straight up proves in the indictment itself that he was guilty. Like the, the lines about how he knew that it was like declassified material or that he had not declassified, sorry, and that it was actually illegal for him to have. Like all these fucking things that he said, they didn't have to actually add into like the indictment. Like so many points of evidence was added onto it. Um, I'm just saying it's unique to indictments in general, but like, I guess the feds play differently where they basically fucking, they basically fucking dropped all of the, uh, all of the bits and pieces of evidence in the indictment, which is understandable. Certainly for this particular situation, Kaya, no. Kaya literally has given up on eating any of the fun things around her and is eating the fucking shelf again. Because this is a, this is a very, uh, you know, this is a hot button. This is a very politically charged investigation. So they have to basically destroy all pretense that there's some like wrongdoing happening. I believe we'll be at a better place to better understand what is taking place. And Congressman, let me just get a quick reaction from you uh, to what uh, Trump has been saying over the weekend. He's been calling the special counsel. Uh, deranged. It sounds like he's trying to whip up his uh, supporters all over again. Uh, are, he was in your state over the weekend. Are you concerned about some of this, uh, some of this rhetoric he's been using? The facts are the facts. And I believe as we uh, apply the facts to the rule of law, and then as the American people are made aware of that, um, I believe that's going to be um, important in this process. And also, um, equally important is due process and allowing a lady justice to continue to be blind. And let's see what comes based on the facts of, oh. of the case. Uh, and a CBS poll that just came out today seems to suggest that uh, many Republican voters uh, see these charges uh, as just political. It shows that just 7% of, of Republican voters have a worse view of Why Trump they keep after pushing the this indictment. Shit as if it's a shock. percent say the indictment won't change their views. Uh, you heard in the report from our colleague Isabel Rosales a few moments ago, uh, you know, a lot of Trump supporters just aren't going to change their mind based on all of this. And I know what you're saying. You're saying that people should look at the facts of this case. 
But it sounds like people have already made up their minds, at least Trump supporters have already made up their minds about this. They're, they're just not going to change their view on this. How do Democrats counter that? Yeah, Jim, we're still early in this process. And as the when they go unfolds, low, we go high. I, I truly believe more facts will come out. That's how the Democrats uh, more information will it. be made readily available for the American people. And as uh, we gain insight to uh, what exactly those facts are and how they are applied towards the rule of law, uh, that's going to better inform our voters uh, potentially of what's taking place. And I have confidence and faith in the American people. And President Biden visited your district on Friday. He was touting his economic agenda, uh, pledging support to military families. Uh, North Carolina has been a key swing state in the past, uh, not so much maybe uh, in recent elections. But do you think President Biden could win North Carolina in 2024 as, as Barack Obama did in 2008? Yes, I do. North Carolina is always, especially in recent history, a very competitive state. Uh, what we are concerned with, especially the families in eastern North Carolina, the first district that I represent, are those who are able to deliver. And I must admit, I haven't agreed with the president 100%, um, but mm -hmm. let's look at the core. I hear from families, they are concerned about jobs. They're concerned about a strong economy, our workforce. They're concerned about a $5 a month subscription to avoid the top of the hour ad break on the Hassan Abbey broadcast. That's what they're concerned about. They're talking about that. They're like, oh, we don't have $5 no more. But guess what? You got a free one in the form of a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and get one free Prime subscription a month. You got also those who are gifting subs out there. So that's another way that you can avoid the top of the hour ad break. You know what I'm saying? Gosh darn it. There's methods out there, folks. That's right, brother. You can do it. Bottom G, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Yee yee, baby. Top G, bottom G. When did him um course in education and when we look at this president on those issues uh, i'm reminded of a bipartisan chips and uh, infrastructure bill uh and the president while he was here in rocky mountain north carolina uh, the last time the president was here in rocky mountain north carolina was lbj in 64 and the president showed up and i can tell you uh being a part of the motorcade and People were holding up the American flag and signs, and they received this president very well. And we went on uh, to Fort uh, Liberty, and the troops there and their families embraced this president. And I want to ask you, I'm sure you've heard this in recent days, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia has kind of uh, flirted with the possibility that he might run for president in, in 2024, might challenge uh, President Biden, perhaps on the Democratic side, there's been some talk that maybe there could be some sort of third party uh, run that might involve uh, Senator Manchin. What is your sense of all that? Would that be healthy for the Democrats? Joe Manchin's running uh, for presidency is purely for the donors. It's not for any real reason. He's not actually going to run. He's just trying to maintain the presence, the idea that he's like, actually kind of uh you know a middle of the ground candidate or whatever there's no real want there he's just trying to secure more fucking donations dirt democratic party if joe manchin were to jump into this uh, candidates at the end of the day we all they don't want uh, him stealing votes from biden anyway no uh, shot in this democratic process to come forward um, but again i point back towards uh, what are those deliverables? Those things that people are concerned about, Eastern North Carolinians, what they talk about at the dinner table. And I do believe that President Biden, uh, even though, again, we haven't always uh, agreed, um, he has <coughs> delivered. Matter of fact, while he's here. Do you think President Biden should have any challengers? Do you mind if I just jump in? Do you think President Biden? It's no. pretty funny. It's pretty funny to consider. He shouldn't run. I love the idea, like Bernie Sanders running and then people being like, um, or Bernie Sanders potentially should run. And uh, it's probably better for the party that Bernie Sanders runs. Is it never a narrative you're going to hear from CNN? Okay. I actually think they would never want a progressive politician to run against 
Joe Biden, they actually punished him for running against Bernie. I mean, uh, 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 Obama for saying he was going to run against Obama, if you recall. Biden should have any challengers. Or do you think he should run unopposed on the Democratic I believe side? In the Democratic, I believe in the Democratic process. And I believe the American people Top out. in the end uh, will uh, deliver for those who deliver for them. All right. Congressman Don Davis, thanks very much for your time. We appreciate it.